Welcome back everybody, Crafty B, maker of things. Today I'm going to wrap up these handles. Here's a quick little print or schematic drawing, whatever you want to call it, of what I'm going to make. A double stacked flat type locking arms. There's the lid will be right in this area. And I'm going to add lightning holes right down the middle. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to use some of my already made arms. I've already done all of the geometry. I know they work. Basically going to use the same length in shape, but I'm just going to flatten them out. And this is going to be a full length cam arm on top, so I have to extend it. And that's what I'm doing right there. And then I got to add a little bit of the lobe. It's a little bit deeper than the stock one. No big deal. I'm just going to scribe out in a second. You'll be able to see it. Make that lobe a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to get to cutting. I'm just going to stay right on the right hand. No, it's the left hand side of the line and just take my time because if I rush it, it'll be a, you know, a lousy cut. You take your time and let the blade do its job. It's less hand work. So now I have to make the little, the hinge area that will fit into that slot. I will mill that down so it drops down in. It will be about that long. And then I'm going to mill a great big groove out of it. So now I'm just going to mill a slot out. And it's all by eye, nothing real critical as far as width or depth, but I just want that 3 16 thick cam arm to just nicely slide through that slot. And here I'm gonna drill the pivot hole. This will be the pin that lets it fold out of the way. And I'm just gonna trim the top, as you can see right here. And I gotta cut a little bit more off of the cam arm length. And there it is, all in position. gonna run a little oversized 3 6 reamer through there it's a nice nice tight fit well not really a nice loose fit just just like that that's what I want the the holes in the gas cap themselves are a little bit snugger so here's the little hinge block I've drilled my 3 16 hole through that's gonna go right here here's my little brass pin and it's a, a kind of a little bit snugger fit in the gas cap itself yeah, not too much, but anyway, so that part's done. Now I've got to drill the hole in the lid arm. Could crack with a center punch, a stare at center punch that is. Just gonna drill it out. It's just a clearance hole for a 3 16 pin. I'm gonna run that undersized reamer through the whole works. There we go. That folds right out of the way. O-ring in place. Going to drop the lid down. Put the cam arm on and kind of take a look at see what's happening. And it looks pretty, pretty horizontal. I like it. So what I'm going to do is mark right. Try to hit the center of the lid. And... So I'm going to eyeball the center of the hole that I just drilled in the center of the arm. Right there. I'm just going to come in and scribe where I'm going to drill that next hole, right? So I've drilled the hole in my hinge block. Now I'm sliding the cam over and I've transferred that hole onto the cam. but. If I drill it right where it's at, it will not have any cam pressure. So what I'm gonna do is just move the hole up slightly so it will push down on the cam. Plus I can bend this arm accordingly to get it to snap shut. Time to sand them up. I start with 120 grit and then I work up to 320 and I try to run them all in a horizontal type sanding pattern because it buffs up better done here is I've taped the arms together with skin masking tape and then I I kind of laid out the whole pattern and I I think that's what I'm gonna go with and all right now I'm gonna center drill them first right on my little circles that I laid out I'm gonna come in and drill them that's probably a number seven or eight number drill I'm gonna come in with a number one kind of clean them up I'm just going to use this big center drill to kind of chamfer the edge. 
little touch up with the burr. I had a little problem with that first one, but no big deal. And then on to sanding. Gonna hit the bottom with some 180, kind of clean up the bottom. And then on to the arms. Lots of sanding and buffing goes on there. Over and over. And boy, this stuff gets hot fast. You can see my gloves are kind of burned there. But it shines up pretty good. 304 stainless. His arms have come a long way since I cut them. A lot of, a lot of work went into them. There's the hinge block. Get that a quick polish. And I did it in black. And it looked okay, but I So I'm just kind of working it. out some of the little stickers. Those are the little chunks of aluminum from the casting process. And I've got a couple little files here that I use. And I can just get in there. I'm cleaning up this area right through there. It had just some... Some little uglies in there, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my split shot in my uh, blast cabinet to put that cast finish back on. Then I have these little detail sanders that work exceptionally well to get into those little tight spots. Because the smoother I make this, the nicer the cast finish will be. Add the cap black. And you saw it in the picture. I didn't like it. So I came back in and I touched it up a little bit, did some sanding. Looks much nicer with the, with the cast finish, I believe. So there it was. Part one, casting from scrap. You watched that one. Part two was the machining, making everything nice. And part three was making the custom handles. Race fuel only. Thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you in the next one.